Hi everyone and welcome. Today we are going to do a very simple way of doing a repaint on the Black Series Django Fett. Now you may be asking what our repaint are we doing? This figure is very much well painted in every way you can think of. But the thing that I'm really more concerned about is when you take off the helmet and find this. Now Hasbro didn't do a really good job of painting the eyebrows right where they need to be. So as you look right there, his eyebrows look to be a little off of where the eyebrows are supposed to be. Therefore, I have dubbed this kind of figure as Cholo Fett because of his little Cholo eyebrows. Anyhow, today I am just going to show you a method on how to fix those eyebrows to make them more accurate and much better so that when you take off his helmet, he doesn't look very odd. So let's get to it. So, the first thing you're going to need is some lacquer thinner. You can pick up this uh, lacquer thinner at any home improvement kind of uh, store. Basically, I got this at Home Depot, and it costs me around $8, and it's one quart. And it's actually been useful for me for a lot of other custom figures that I've been making. But you're going to need this stuff. But I do have to caution that lacquer thinner is very, very, uh, how should we say, it's very extreme in what it does. It's what we're using it for is to take off paint so you want to make sure you don't spill any of this on any of your stuff because it will make it damage it and for this purposes today I have already poured some onto a glass right here and I pour and I also have a little bit of uh, cotton so that it can drink up the liquids and not have a problem spilling it anywhere so this is the first thing you're gonna first item you're gonna need now the other items you're gonna need are some q-tips some black paint and the black paint that I am using here is model masters acrylic flat black which you can pick up in any uh, hobby store which can come very nicely in a bottle so you can keep with you and you're also gonna need a brush paintbrush excuse me now the kind of paintbrush I am using is you can see right there it's a 20 over 0 and it's a spotter it's very thin and it's very useful for let's see if I can focus on that it's very useful for very fine detail and another things you might want to have with you is something to put your paint on I have also some toothpicks which I would use to mix my paints a bit or at least make sure that uh, I get enough paint on it and we're going to need a towel just to make sure you don't spill anything on yourself or in, or if you need to clean your brush off. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our Q-tip and we're going to dip it into our little glass full of lacquer thinner. And dab it enough so that we can get some on our Q-tip. And then we are slightly going to brush it over the face. Now be careful because you don't want to go towards the eye and erase his eye of any sorts. So just slightly, little by little, as you turn, it's going to smear some of the paint, which is fine. That's what it's done. And once you feel like you have some paint there, dab it again. And then start cleaning up the rest of the f face. alright so now that we have the face cleaned up we are going to start painting on it so I've already taken a bit of the paint using a toothpick and placed it on a little cap or something that I can use and I'm going to slowly but surely start painting on the face so it's a little difficult at times on the camera but let's try this You're going to try and follow the area in which the eyebrows would have been. And slightly dab it on to create some kind of effect like it's eyebrows. So there's one area. I'm going to try the second side. Grab some more paint.
as I'm dabbing it on make sure you don't push too hard on it otherwise you might mess up a little bit and then you start slightly moving it around so as you can see his eyebrows look a little bit better I may have made a mistake here and there but it's okay because if anything if you have the lacquer thinner around you could always erase it if you don't like the way it came out and uh, so far I don't like the left so I'm gonna just go off camera and clean that up and start again and repaint it and then show you the end result and as you can see this is the end results I did have to clean up the left side of his face his eyebrow face again and redo it uh, it's kinda hard to do it on the camera I apologize and I wish I could have done it better but I was just trying to give you a general idea of how it's done and as you can see it looks way better now than it did before it's his eyebrow on the left of course is it's a little raised so it kind of gives you that kind of like look of uh, contempt or sort of like he's contemplating something what what to do it's similar to the look he he's thinking that he at uh, when he meets Obi-Wan Kenobi and he tells his son Boba that they have to pack and leave from where they were so this is the end result and this is really great looking I love it now it looks better and I hope to display it with his mask off most of the time and I do want to say though before anything else is because we're using paints and oftentimes paints uh, especially the model master paints it's best to allow it about 24 hours to dry completely so I wouldn't recommend putting the helmet on before then because it could rub the paint off because it's a very tight fit so I would recommend first if uh, to give it 24 hours to dry and another thing you can do to also protect it is to use some sort of a, a, a varnish or some sort of a, a, what's it, an, an acrylic coat of some sort a clear coat uh, the one that I have here is a matte varnish which you can use which I will probably place on this uh, 20, after 24 hours and then place this again very lightly over the eyebrows and wait another 24 hours and then it will be completely dry and I would hope that putting on the helmet would not cause it to uh, rub off or any kind of stuff like that but if it does happen you know you can easily fix it again and if you just want to keep the helmet on that's also okay. of course it's your choice I just feel like this is a great figure to show off and to have him standing there because it's not often you get to see like the uh, one of the Fets without their helmets especially Boba Fett you never see him without his helmet and he's just a, a great character so yeah so that's it pretty much so thanks a lot for joining me today guys. I hope it was helpful on that you can actually start fixing up the face for Django Fett if you guys are interested in doing customs at some point in the future. And I just want to let you know also that this pr process of fixing the eyebrows can also be used on a multiple, multitude of figures that have the same, but the plastic has to be the same as the skin tone. It can't be a like an all black skin, all black plastic and painted skin tone because then you would erase all the painted skin tone on it so I hope this is helpful as I said and thanks for joining me and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you're interested please subscribe I will hopefully be making more of these videos in the future to help anybody who's interested in making more customs for their figures so uh, thanks